Three. See, there's the other second print. There it is. Here's that's the regular okay, cover. So that's the, that's first the regular print. cover. Look at uh, they're both first prints. Just that's the one in 25. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of your show. Thank you. What would you want to do? I mean, I don't know. Kind of up to you. I'll let you throw the offer at me. Well, I'm not. You throw the offer. What would you be willing to trade for the norm? Oh, I gotta be. There's, there's. I don't think there's really anything here I would want over the noir, so right. it probably have to be a deal kind of in my right. favor, you know? Right, right, right. Oh, I know that. It um, wouldn't be one. It'd probably be three or four. I mean, I don't know if you would want it. I mean... I would I would trade all three of those. Would you do this one? With it. Would you do that? Yeah. One. I would. Two, three. I don't even know what these are worth. We'll look them up after. Four, five, six, seven. Well, you know where about we're eight, going. About 850. <laughs> 850 right here? Yeah. And you're cool with doing that? I am quite cool with that. I have those. There you go. 9.8, too. I know. There you go. Awesome. Cool. I feel like that was a nice little trade. I agree. You got what you wanted, and I got That's some cool books that I've never had before. I've never had that spawn. That's a sick 96. And the second print is called Telling. And then this oh, one yeah. right here. Just so you know if you're willing to put it in there, yeah. I did not clean or press that. Yeah. And there's there's nothing wrong with that book. Yeah. Maybe room for bump. That's cool, though. That First one, Dr. Afro, That one I did clean and press. Cool. That one's everything you can get out of it. But she comes. That's going to be a go. pricey book. Thanks, oh, yeah. Clay. Definitely a good little trade. Didn't realize that this thing was super expensive, so... Happy with that, and someone just got a bunch of books. Oh, the Warhammer, nice finds. Here we go, 10, 20, 30, 35. Let's do a flat 30. All right. I just have a couple books that I, ideally I was just gonna bring a couple books to trade up, yeah, and then see what I could find. I found this, oh, okay. so I was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna pick that up. Yeah, every time I see it. Uh, first appearance of his sister, right, yeah. I think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time I see it, I was like, oh, I'll pick it up. You wanna dig through it? Yeah, if you, you want, man, you can, uh, I put it over here. You're trying to sell everything? Yes. What do you want for the whole box? Give me a good number because I know you can Star Wars. Well, that's the thing, too. Is Ooh, that's a con exclusive there. I have no idea what these are worth is the problem. Like, Star Wars, when I look at it, like, I think this is a first appearance, right? They should be all keys and then Mandalorian have almost every bearing of I'm probably not the guy to buy this, man. Ooh, these look cool, though. I I would have no idea. The Clone Wars, these are sick. He's got to be kind of pricey, though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, a little bit. It depends on the cardboard down there. That's why. Thirty-five. That's number two. First one is the first one. That's good. What does this one go for? Eighty-five. It's about the they list on. It's a whole box of Star Wars. Wow. I would love this. These are in nice shape, too. You don't want to throw me a number so I have, like, an idea? It just varies because, I mean... Ooh, yeah, the there you go. Look at this one. Wow. Empire Strikes. Issue 5. These are first prints too. This like your personal box or you just decided to... Oh, so you're trying to get the money together for the, the book you need. The first Doc Ock, that's a pricey one. Like a thousand bucks and up. These Mandalorian variants are sick. This one? Yeah. You got Yeah. Signed, yeah. Four hundred dollars for the whole box. Definitely a fair price for sure. I just don't know a whole bunch about Star Wars, so I think I'm gonna pass for now. I might be making a mistake, but oh, that one's cool. Signed by Mayhew with the certificate. Sarah told me you were looking for a 57. What's that one at? I got 75 for you. I'll do 60 bucks. You can take it out. It's a nice one. Oh, I know. I saw when you got it. Except for that little smear air. That's a pretty yeah. nice looking book. Woo! I got a couple more. He's looking at the Mysterio right now. I told him I'd go print it Ooh, yeah. Sarah's cutting deals. I bought a uh, signed X-Men 130 
a 9.6 for a 5.25. 130, what's that, the first dazzler? First dazzler. Yeah. Signed by Claremont. You think Taylor Swift is going to play her? Uh, custom label. Uh, I hope not. <laughs> oh, you don't want her to play her? We'll be here. Yeah. Sarah's a hater. <laughs> I, uh, she's not an actor. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just sing, so, just sing one song and play it. Yeah. This will save it off. Right? Yeah. CGC messed it up. This is the third time without it saying double cover on the label, so I had to send it back. It was a 9-2 originally, and it came back a 9-4 with a 9-8 inside cover, so I got 9-8. That's awesome. But I, I don't know what this book is worth. Well, that's like this book here. I have this one. You want to see something cool? Oh, Angelo in this book. I love this book. This is probably one of my favorite books right now. Just because you probably never find another. Yeah. So when I was going through this, I was going through the Conan collection we had, trying to make sure all the books were like complete and everything was in good shape. So this is a Conan 167. It's a newsstand, mm -hmm. double cover. Yeah. But wait, Mark Jewelers. Oh, nice. That's a triple threat. You got a Mark Jewelers double cover newsstand, Conan 167. Ooh, Ooh Legos. Who doesn't want a Hungarian horn tail? Oh, that's actually <laughs> sick. We and Sarah are trying to get into Legos too. They're expensive. Yes, we have a lot of Legos, like insane amount. Yeah, my girls, uh, they've gotten to the point of like, hey, we want a toy. I'm like, okay, I, I, you want a Lego? That's not a toy. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a different definition now yeah. of Lego. They're no longer toys. It's just something Dad just has. Yeah, we actually, she was opening uh, the Marvel figures in the car. We got them from Amazon. They Series came. 2. Series 2, yeah. So. I'm looking for the Daily Bugle set. I've been looking for that for a while. We have that. With the figures? Yes, on display, yeah. yeah we actually bought extra. Those of the figures, the Daredevil and the um, Punisher. Those are the originals. Punisher's ever going to get put in another set. That's my yeah, guess because of yeah. controversy, and I can't see like all being like, let's well, keep putting Punisher back out there. So I collect them, and then eventually if they go up and I'll, I'll get them. So. Yeah, some of those mini figs too are worth a lot, like the originals and stuff. Yeah, I just I just sold a Hobbit blue coat sealed in DVD package for one hundred sixty five dollars. Wow. So it was, it, it was a Target exclusive. Yeah. It was like twenty bucks back in the day. Yeah. This was. Half the price of what uh, it's actually worth, so I couldn't say no. She's You're like, gonna build a Lego around. Do you build them or you put them? I ask the my box. girls if they want to build it, they can build it. If not, sometimes yeah. you just yeah. it'll, it'll go away. <laughs> it'll, it'll just go, I, have a sh I have an entire shelving system just full of That's awesome. sealed in boxes. Yeah. I love that shirt, sir. I just noticed. Yeah, the Perez Team Titans. Yeah, I was telling, telling your wife, uh, I used to publish the uh, George Perez magazine. For oh, really? Years. Yeah, what was that like? It was a lot of fun. He, I worked, he worked, he was kind of my unofficial editor. I'd go to his house sometimes and, you know, he pretty much edited my the magazine. It was called Pace Setter, the George Perez magazine. I published like 20 issues. Very cool. Yeah. Is that DC? No, 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 no. It was like a, uh, you ever seen the Kirby Collector? Yeah. It's kind of like that. Okay. Had interviews, artwork. And, that's very cool. Yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Was that here or somewhere else? He lived in Sanford. So oh, he was in yeah. Sanford. Wow, I yeah. didn't realize that. Yeah, yeah, he lived in Sanford. Wow. Yeah, the first time I went to his house, he was uh, he was wearing a Yosemite Sam slippers. Hot dog timer. Sarah really wants a hot dog. Go get them. I'm hungry. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh wait, you know how to do the card thing? No. It's okay. We'll be good. Okay. Tell them I'll be RB. Looking for anything specific? No, just looking looking at the stock. Yeah. <laughs> Seen you guys a lot on uh, on YouTube, so I oh, cool. hadn't been to see what you guys have. So awesome. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff. This is a little portion of what we were able to fit in the car. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yeah, you guys are setting up like at home. Is that what's? Yeah, actually, we've been actually, uh, it's but it's fun. We got a bunch of dollar books, pre-priced stuff, and then I'm eventually gonna have other people come with their stuff and start setting up. And nice. I have a garage and all kinds of stuff to hook up. So that's awesome. Yeah, that's, really, that's really cool. Yeah, we're right in the middle of Oviedo. Okay. It's a big five-acre lot. You got to drive a mile down a dirt road, but <laughs> once you're there, you're good to go. That's usually where you find the best shows. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that is. Whoa, let me get that. You know what that is. How much you want for that? Yeah, baby. See, now I'm knocking on your door, mister. <laughs> I'm knocking on your door now. <laughs> this is a sick one here. Uh-uh. Hey, House of Secrets number one. Whoa, I've never seen that before. 
It's a beat up copy, but it's number That's one. A crazy one too. Oh yeah. Whoa! You just got these? Yeah. A channel restricted. Yeah, right. Putting that stuff. Oh yeah. On put, oh yeah. Oh yeah. They will definitely. Rare book though. We got the Star Wars box back. We're even gonna get the Funko Pops included with it. 250 bucks for the box. He did sell two of the books out of here, but I think it's still a fair price for 250 plus. He does have a, uh, there it is. I think it's a good deal for 250 bucks, plus all the exclusives in the back. Thanks, man. Got the box. I'm glad I helped you out a little bit too. Well, I got a bunch of Western stuff today. Oh yeah, what'd you pick up? Let me see what you got. Oh gosh. <laughs> Let's see the goodies. Let's see the goodies. Obviously, you know, I'm the dollar bin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got some good grabs from the yeah, dollar bin today, dollar. too. There's yeah. A lot, there's a lot of horror comics here, yeah. too, for like a buck. This is my big score for the day. Whoa, Rawhide Kid. Rawhide Kid 35. <laughs> Kirby cover. That's nice. Yeah. You don't see this very much. This one's actually kind of hard to find. Two Gun Kid. Two Gun Kid. Ringo Kid. Ringo Kid. All the Westerns. All the Westerns, yeah. That's awesome. And this. And that. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's sick. What is that? that it's a, it's a hand bill. They used to put them on like um, phone poles and stuff like that. Oh. I was like, hey, for a, for a, for that price? Oh, yeah. That's cool, yeah. Well, Do you collect comics? No. She doesn't. I'm the, I'm the comic guy. Dude, this guy sold me this for, even though it's, you've obviously seen this. It's only five bucks for that. Oh, the you know? reprint, yeah. The reprint. The originals are expensive. Yeah. How's it going, man? It's going good, man. I don't do much complaining. Yeah, right, you can't. They don't do Nobody much. listens. <laughs> no, one, no, they listen. They just don't care. I sell on whatnot. And I am looking for books, always, for whatnot. But I start them off at a dollar, so sometimes I lose tremendously. <laughs> Feel you on that. the game, right? <laughs> Could we work out a deal where if there's, like, books that are 15 and under silver age... We could work like a bulk deal on them. The Silver Age, I don't know. Yeah, I, it has to be silver. That's the only thing I run at on what not a silver. Yeah, it's the pro same thing with me, man. Yeah. You know, I get I, you. Hey. it's hard to replace those books. It is. I just bought this right here. That's what you got. A collection, but yeah, it's, that's all, it's all modern Wars. Star Wars. Yeah. Like it's the only stuff I can find is modern stuff. Modern stuff is really easy to find. Silver is great. But it's also, it's a harder push because some, there's never that medium silver age person, right? Where they either want really low grade stuff or they want really high grade stuff. But that medium stuff, you don't get the medium value. Does that make sense? I know exactly so what hard. you mean. I got a lot of stuff in here, for example, like, uh, like I'd, I'd like buy this, right? Um, I like price bearing. But I'd be at like, if I buy this, I'd like to be at five because I'm grabbing so many. Over you know what I'm saying? But then if a book is $10, I'd still be at $5. If a book is five, I'll be at five. If it's sixteen dollars, I won't even bother with you. I'll let you keep it. So, uh, a seven thing. Right? But yeah. like that, you know, but sales are happening everywhere. Will be over there okay. in D. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's see. There was something in here. I like these Doctor Strange's awesome books, but I wouldn't even bother have, looking uh, at those. Ten up there. Okay. The eighty dollar book. I wouldn't bother looking at it. I have that one for eight. I think I already just showed you that one. And then if you want to close Let's see. You got some good books though. That was the only grade of DD. I try to put a little bit of everything in there. I feel it. Just name of the game, right? Seven, and then the rest is gonna be locked. Okay. Is that what I think it is? At one point, I had a long box of this and 31. That's cool. That is Look sick. That. What is that, though? That is a Venom number 32. Signed and sketched by Mike Mayhew. That thing's sick. Yeah, it's Ooh. a mega remark. One of a kind. You can see number one and only. What would you ask for something like that? I mean, 500 cash, but, you know. I'm Turn it around. Is it on the back, too? That's cool. I just picked one of those up, too. <laughs> Ooh, a new stand on that? That had water damage. That's cool though. And then it's just the one that loose thing. Ooh, that's the recalled one, isn't it? And new stand. Second lowest print. Followed by the first lowest print. Ooh, I need this. Oh, okay. it's, it's up. Oh. And then I just found two more. Oh, Errors. Like Fright Night. That's Fright cool. Night from the 1980s. And then this was my dollar bin finds today. So dollar bin find. I found oh, wow. four of these in a dollar bin find. New stand. Two came back nine six. And then a dollar bin finds. Then the uh, first appearance of um, uh, I forget Jenny the Sparks. Yeah, yeah that's Jenny a big one. Sparks and that. That's found in a dollar bin find. And then I found these. I paid five a piece for them. 
There you go, 2099. First experience got a new stand on one of them. And then these are the ones I picked up for myself. And then this is one I just did some uh, taking out some uh, discoloration at the top. That one's pretty nice though. Doing deals if you get more than one book too, so yeah. A nice stack of books here. Are you gonna take the Spider Man too? Yeah, can we do uh, half cash, half card? It'll probably go like eight, seven and a half, eight if you press it. It's still the first rocket. What do I got? 150 on that and then 125. Nice. I tell you what, 225 on the set. If you do two even? Two even? Yeah. Let me see. We got I make my, I first make rocket, my I an iconic cover, 200 bucks. Back cash? Yeah. Deal. All right, man. Thank you. I just got into comics like probably about a year ago, and you guys was one of the oh, first. Oh, that's awesome. that's awesome. And like Jazz is always laying down in bed with me. She's like, well, why are you on YouTube watching comics? I'm like, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's awesome. Oh, yeah. It's awesome meeting you guys. You too, man. Yeah. What's your name? Aiden. Aiden. Hey, Angelo. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice yeah. Sarah. Sarah. Nice Angelo. Nice yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. Sarah. I always loved Marvel and stuff. Like I grew up watching all the awesome movies when they started pumping out, like Iron Man and stuff. I like the older stuff. I like some of the newer stuff. Like the newest of like thing I probably have is like the Red Hulk. Like I have a copy of the CGC Red Hulk at oh, home. Okay. And just because I like that, but the like the Pacific. Silver Age stuff. Silver Age yeah. is like really where I like. What about you guys? I'm pretty much Silver Age, Silver Golden yeah. Age, but I've started to get into original art more. Oh, dude. So like original art yeah, pieces and stuff. Yeah, I saw you guys' yeah. videos where you guys were showing some of that stuff. Yeah, it's so cool. Just some stuff. These were on sale. I think, yeah, these were 10. They gave me a discount. Whoa, you got this for 10 bucks? Yeah, all these Captain America. It's actually that he gave me a discount. Wow. Yeah, so all these early... Uh, and then I got a, I picked up a... These are nice. That I didn't have yet. That's a nice $10 grab. A clean yeah. one there. Actually, it probably came out to about eight bucks. He gave me, I think, 20% off on everything. So all these were discounted. Pretty, I like the colors on them. It's an eye catcher, right? Oh, man. We've had this. We got That's in the collection nice. a while ago, yeah. This is an expensive set. There's only there's only one set right now on eBay for a thousand bucks, I think. Traded the uh, X-Men and the One Punch, the two graded ones, and like four raw books. You ready? Whoa. I know. You don't have this one, do you? Nope. I do now though in a 98. Comic bug. Yep. How many of these the are like going. super limited, yeah, right? Yeah, I think there's only like 1,500. Wow, that was a cool find. You love those Spider-Verse books. Right? Well, you got, you're going to have the whole collection now, pretty soon. Now I got Noir, too, to go right with it. Put yeah. somebody I know. That's a cool <laughs> little bag right there. Right? And these are awesome. This is sick. I know. It's beautiful, isn't it? Let me take a look at what you got. Sure thing. So, a page from Teen Titans Annual. Page number no eight. No way. You got Damian Wayne fighting... Red Hood. What did you pay for that? If you don't mind me asking. What do you, what do you think it's worth? 200 bucks? 200 bucks. So the guy had a, a 185 price point on it. I offered 150, got it for 160. Does he have more stuff over there? Yeah, a lot more stuff. Yeah. All right, let me go actually, take a look. He actually has original cell of the Super Friends cartoon, the Apache Chief, and then also a cell from Captain America Jr. Uh, Shazam show that ran animation show. Man, this is sick. You got the Red Hood down there too, right? That's yeah. the Red Hood. Sick. Let me go see what he's got. 70s and the 80s, they came out with portfolios where they basically have just art. That's where they're trying to sell art by themselves. So this is a really nice one, old marble one. But this one here, signed by signed by John Romita Jr. How are you? That's pretty sick. Are so this is more a little bit, a little bit more newer. But then it's this, um, it's probably about it says plate. Plate one, it's probably plate one of like six. So there's six different pieces of art in here. Time ago, but it was incredible. He used to be on the beach in Florida. And, but the Bronx, Bronx is, is good to use. Have you ever filled with the one down in, um, Whoa, well, that's cool. It's a sign. Yep. Signed by John Romita Jr. Yeah. From Plantation. Uh, I wow, those are cool. Not that way, huh? It's kind of far from. And it's on great paper. 
Do the paper. Yeah, it's a good paper quality. What is that, 1991? Oh, Boynton Beach, okay. Yeah, Sicilian pizza. Wow, Oven is really good down there. But it's not traditional pizzeria. That's pretty cool. You used to have one of those? Yeah. Sell anything? Yeah, I sold the material ASM. You sold the Mysterio? Yep. For how much? 100 bucks to this man right here. Oh, right here? Yeah, right you guys picked up the Spider-Man? Yeah. Nice grab, man. I remember you looking at that at the house sale. Yeah. There's no way you can go less than 60. I'll tell you what. I'll do 50 bucks. Okay. Yep. Let's see what you were able to find. Did you see the FF I, I had? The 6-0? No. So, 6-0 is about $900, right? It's a 9.8, but he priced it as a direct. It's a newsstand and it's signed. Oh, he didn't realize it was a newsstand. What's the price difference on that, though? $1,800. Yeah, significant difference. <laughs> the, the paper quality is so yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no 9.8 newsstands there. Yeah. And it's signed. And yeah. it's signed. That's why when With you the, the Raws, the Raws would be like 50, 60 bucks. So you traded that for that book? Straight trade. Wow. Damn. What was the trade? FF49 and a 6.0. Really? Yes, sir. <laughs> you're like, please give me that '90s right, glory. Like, quick. Give like, me that. Give yeah. me that nostalgia. That's awesome. That's yeah, sick. It's, a, it's definitely nine eight, and it's got the maximum cards back. So what are we searching for, Woodley? Uh, we're looking for a one eighty one today. We're looking for a one twenty nine today. We're looking for a, just some good keys. Um, got some books to trade. What do you got to trade? Oh, uh, what did I bring to trade? I traded a couple books today. I got. I think I got these in trade. Yeah, I got this one today and a couple others. Uh, there you go. Ooh, <laughs> nice. That would have been nice with the 49. Yeah, yeah, right? that, yeah if I saw you, that would have been Galactus, a Galactus, yeah, Silver Surfer. It's a good trade. That's a sick book there. Yeah, there's a. Ooh, that's a nice one. Signed too. by Neil Adams. Where's the. No yellow label. Why didn't he get a yellow label? Because he passed away. <laughs> it was on the interior. So, so, so with this, so CGC allows it on a blue label. Yeah. But you might get a bump down. So. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah. what they're doing the, now, yeah, right? They'll bump you down on the green. Yeah. So but this is actually higher than a 6.0. Oh yeah, higher than a 6.0. Was it so. a CBCS first, then you cracked and submitted it? No, no, it was never. It was a raw book, oh. founded yeah. with the SIGIN side of it. So, cool. yeah, Free but yeah, can't go wrong with that. But yeah. looking for a trade, looking for to purchase, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Underrated cover. I love the cover where it's just his face. That yeah, sick. sick covers. Try to throw a little bit of everything in there. For yeah. People. people, they don't even, they probably don't even realize the, what's in this book. It's so cute. It's so, right? Yeah, it's so cute. Of course. This book is hot and it's gonna. Mm, good cover. That is a first print. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, did you take 94? What do I got? 110? Absolutely. Thank you guys. Those posters are cool. There's a Catwoman one over there, and then there's this other one, this like monster girl one. Oh, so when they're when they're posters you like, they're cool, but when it's an alien... It'd be cool in the bedroom. Poster. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they're like 100 bucks. Yeah, they're expensive. They're original. Yeah, but... <laughs> who knows it's original besides me? <laughs> Everybody you else know? looking at it. No, nobody else will know. Slowing down a little bit. It's almost... Yeah, there's only uh, two more hours. It's three o'clock, so two more hours until closing. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna leave all these here? Um, I don't know. You need to go ask other people what's their. Uh... I don't know if I want to leave all this stuff here overnight. It wouldn't take long to pack it up. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could like leave the rack. You we can come back tomorrow with all dollar books. It sold for eleven fifty, so I said I'd put it fifty dollars less. But then I'm thinking I really don't have much into this book, so I don't care about it. So I'm gonna drop it and see if I sell it. It's a great cover. A great cover. Nine eight. There's nine eight. almost no nine eight to this book. So there's always gonna be a book in my wall that is is like the discount of the day. This is it, or one of them. Which is the best deal up here? You think right now? This is a great deal because this book is is non-existent. First Martian Manhunter. First Batman, that thing is super rare. Second Penguin, to be honest, this is stupid. Why is the Second Penguin, a book from 1942, just $2,000? This should be way more than that, but it's what GPA is, so. 
I would say, yeah, some of those Batmans. And 9290 in Silver Age is really hard to get from DC. DC books were red, not like Marvel. Marvel people just bought three copies to put two away. People bought this and read it and read it and read it and read it. So those books are really hard to get. This is a good deal. How much is it? What do I have it at? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's a good deal. I don't have to know how. He doesn't have to price. It's free. Exactly. The best deal. There you go. That's the best deal. Exactly. The best I'm gonna have to price deal. that now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what he prices that at. Nine eight. Exactly. Amazing Spider-Man one hundred. If I had to take a guess, I'd say six hundred dollars. That doesn't sound like a deal to me. That doesn't sound like a deal at all. Last sale, off white to white was forty three hundred. Is that nine eight? Nine eight. Nine. But. How was I'm sorry, how much? Forty three hundred dollars? Forty three hundred dollars. Yeah. For this book right here. Just for You're telling me somebody paid forty three hundred dollars. But wait, but wait. A white page or so for sixty five hundred just weeks before. Is that before? white pages? Right. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do five. Because it's white pages, so it's below the sixty-five hundred, okay, and it's a little ab above the forty-three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About that. My six hundred dollar guess was way off, huh? Good deal. I think it's stupid to sell a first Sinestro for five seventy-five. That is GPA, but that should be going for a lot more than that. This book too, I don't agree with. That's cheap. I feel Those like two are cheap too. Yeah. That, that's way cheaper. Yeah. Seven five for five hundred bucks. This I don't know why this isn't on par with this. Honestly. Well, I, I'm yeah. overpriced on the, on the uh, uh, Black Panther. Well, no. That's like that's like the Hulk. How much you got on that one? You don't really uh, want to sell that, do you? I don't want to sell that. What does it say? 28k. Yeah. The market's liking Black Panther right there. No, it's a drug. That's why I'm not. Oh, look at the. It's too low. Look at the 98. I just realized I never seen that in person. That thing is sick. The 98 giant size. How much is that? Last white page you're sold for 45, but the last off white to white is 45,000? Yeah. So it's between 29 and 45. I'm at 38. Oh my god, I had no idea. I think that goes to the case. The original one, original one, came out in 1961. Golden Record came out in 66. It's the very first reprint. It's the exact same book with the difference to see the 10 cents. Mm -hmm. And then there's a different commercials inside, right? Actually, this one has no commercials. It only has the back, the back cover. Because this one came on a, a golden record. You bought the record. Oh, you bought the record. And, and the record the read you the comic book. Oh, fantastic. The yeah. first, uh, like, um, you know, books on tape. Right. So this one, if you think, I mean, you can own, put this on a wall. It looks exactly like the original one. It's the very first reprint. Mm -hmm. And it looks way better than a 6.5. Star Wars, nice. Oh, can we see what you got? Oh, sure. Oh. Oh, cool. cool. Yes. And they're both from Empire Strikes Back. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's awesome. Is that your favorite Star Wars? Uh, it's actually the Return of the Jedi. Oh, Ooh. this is this is just uh, for Spider-Man. Yeah, this is just 64 here. It's, um, good condition. So. Ooh, nice. Um, pretty clean. Got the cool date stamp right there. I really like that. Scotty Young. Yep. Yeah, cool. He's always got to pick him up whenever he sees Obviously. them. Obviously. This is two of my top three favorite characters on the same Scotty cover, <laughs> so it just it just had to happen. Find anything else at the show today? Oh, yeah. What'd you guys oh, grab? Yeah. Way too much. Yeah, more more money than I expected. I yes. One of my holy grails is Thor 337, and I wanted to pick it up in a 9.8 only. I found a raw copy for, like, super cheap that easily... I'm going to take it over and get it evaluated and probably hand it over to get it graded because I think it'll come back in 9.8. And if it does, whoo, I got a steal. That's so awesome. I am very excited. You got to love that. Getting excited about comic books. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm very excited about that. And in that. here we have we have more Scotties. Yeah, more Scotties. <laughs> <Not my fault. laughs> Why don't you go ask everyone how their day was? We got 30 minutes to see right. how day one was. Let's go, everybody. Let's see how everybody's day one was. How are you guys? How was your first day today? That was good. How about you guys? Very good. We had a fun time. How was your day today, guys? Good, man. It's been a long one, but it's been fruitful. How was your day? Pretty good. How are you? Just getting ready to get out of here like you. How was your show today? Good. Yeah, we're doing good. Yeah? Yeah. How was your show? Did you do good? Yeah, good we show. did great. What about you, Angelo? Did you do good? Always doing good. Let's see what you got here. I'm getting some Are you active, man? Yeah, we had a fun show today. It was definitely a good turnout. Definitely nice. I enjoyed my first time and a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a busy house, too. Yeah, it was. Got some cool... Are these yours? Yeah. Very cool. Avengers. 
Oh, is this the recalled one? Yeah. Are you happy today? I am super happy. How are you feeling today? Um, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm a little tired too. <laughs> it's a lot of work throwing yeah. these things, I'm sure. Well, we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Bright and early. Yep. So what'd you get in there? Oh, that's sick. Good day, huh? Yeah, yeah. I sold a bunch of stuff I didn't want to sell, but I ended up selling it anyways. Yeah, there you go. That's like me with the golden age. I sold it all. I was like, eh. Yeah, yeah. Gonna pack up all your stuff. I am gonna start doing that now, yeah. Yeah, I think Are I'm... You guys packed up? I'm about to start packing. I just want to say bye to everybody before I got out of here. Coming back tomorrow, right? Yeah. All right, we are packing everything up. Gonna load it back into the car. Bring some new stuff for tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll bring probably some dollar books for the other side of the booth tomorrow. But we'll keep all the alphabetized stuff. So we're taking everything off the wall, getting everything loaded up. Gonna leave the stand here, leave the table, clocks, and things like that. But just bring in all the books. So we gotta load it up and bring it to the car. Let's just leave these here. Okay. If someone wants to steal some five dollar books or whatever. Let them have at it. So we'll leave that there. We'll leave the box of tools here. Oh, but here, we need to take these. We need to take those with us. Oh, yeah, the I forgot. Umbrella and the Hulks. I know, today was a great day. We got the, where's that Star Wars collection, too? It's in this box right here. We got the Star Wars collection. We got the trade with Clay, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. Clay came through with a sick trade. I think he got something he was looking for, but we definitely got a good trade, too. And we sold a bunch of books. I have no idea how much money we made, but that $2,800 sale this morning was really nice. And then, yeah, we're about to get out of here now. Comment down below what you guys think of the first day of the show, though. It was a lot of fun. Over the night, should we tape these up? No, I don't think we need to tape them up. Everybody else is throwing rags on top. Well, yeah, people are throwing tablecloths on top. Okay, Angela's going to tape it up. Oh, boy. This way I know someone was in here. Not that I don't trust people, right? But it would really ruin my day <laughs> if I came back tomorrow and someone stole like a $50 book or something. I think there's only like five and $10 books in there, right? I don't know, but I'm not trying to figure out <laughs> if I'm missing any. So hope everyone enjoyed the first day of the convention video and we will see you in the next one tomorrow. Bye everybody. Later guys.